I'm Charlie Moore, this is Bruins Academy. Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Moore and welcome to a brand new episode of Bruins Academy. Now I know you love hockey and trust me, we have a great episode in store for you tonight. We've got David Pasternak and the boys taking in a New England Revolution soccer game over at Gillette Stadium. Then several of the Boston Bruins show their love and support for our military on Veterans Day. I love that. Plus more of the incredible hockey videos, a la home hockey videos, sent in by you, the viewer. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss these videos. But first things first here on BA, we're gonna take a look at Jeremy Swayman's bad, bad, which means awesome goalie mask. It's pretty cool. So this is my centennial mask. Uh, I like simple masks, so you know you see the logo from afar, but when you look at the details, you're gonna see more like the banner stuff on the top with kind of the shadow paint, the centennial logo. On the bottom, I wanted just a little bit of the, the 100 centennial bear just to accent around. And then obviously the main logo on top, so you can see it from the, the rafters, which is important. Yeah, it just kind of was a simple design that I was really happy with. And then of course the back plate of the state of Alaska. And then I got a new addition, my niece's handprint, Maddox. A couple quotes from mentors and coaches. And so uh, this is my centennial mask. So listen, we all know that the Boston Bruins organization and players love to give back to the community. So it shouldn't become a surprise to you when the Bruins players and organization gave back to the community during Veterans Day. This is an annual tradition for us on Veterans Day uh, here at Mass Fallen Heroes. We plant over 3,000 flags in Seaport Carmen, right in front of the memorial. We're planting flags today in the Seaport Common area with Mass Fallen Heroes. We're here to, to honor the veterans and overall just, uh, just a great day today. Really special and happy to be a part of it. The Massachusetts Fallen Heroes organization was founded in 2010 to honor the memories of our fallen service members and help their families. The first check they ever received was from the Boston Bruins and the relationship has only grown since then. Just to be here and, and hear uh, some of the stories and, and what they've done to, to serve our country, it's um, an easy cause to, to give back and be a part of. We're super blessed to be in this position and. Um, it's always a great day for us. It, it's hard to, to even say thank you and have that be enough. We're just incredibly grateful for them to, to come back today. It doesn't, doesn't even come close to, to, to equaling their, their service, but we're really happy to do it. David, all right, Jeremy, nice to meet you, man. It's amazing, it really is. I mean, and, and it's not like they're just showing up to do something, like they truly care about it. You know, they're talking with veterans, they're learning the history, you know, they're asking, questions because they truly care why they're here. But more importantly, like, you see what it means to the veterans here. You see what it means to the families that have made the ultimate sacrifice. And then you see the kids. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, everybody. The show all about knowing, growing, loving the sport of hockey. Now, recently your Boston Bruins traveled to Detroit to play the Detroit Red Wings. Now, Michael Penhollow, a staffer here on Behind the B in Bruins Academy, his five-year-old nephew, well, he had some fun 
with the players. This kid's cute. He's good. He's going to be a TV star. I'm jealous. Okay, go. As you know, there's nothing like going to the TD Garden and taking in a great concert or a great Bruins or Celtics game. However, let's take a look at how they're making sure that everybody can enjoy these events. Hello everyone, thank you all for coming today to announce really wonderful initiative that we've been doing here at the TD Garden to make it more inclusive. The TD Garden, in partnership with Culture City, has opened four sensory rooms where guests who might be feeling overwhelmed can take a break. Actor Pooch Hall from the hit TV series Ray Donovan was in attendance as this new facility touches home for him. I didn't realize how important it was to have a place like this until I was blessed with my daughter who was born uh, developmentally delayed. She has cerebral palsy. I couldn't be more proud and more ecstatic to be a part of an amazing organization. Culture City has a partnership with TD Garden and we were able to provide all the experts needed to build out these four sensory rooms that we've launched today. In addition to that, we've supplied TD Garden with sensory bags that are available at each of the guest service locations so fans can check them out during a game, a concert, any other event in case they need the fidgets or the headphones during that time. Games get very loud and I can shut off my hearing aids and, and you know knock off 80% of the sound but uh, to be able to get a room with complete silence is sometimes very necessary. The TD Garden now has the most sensory rooms of any large venue in the world. The addition of these rooms means that every event hosted at the arena is now sensory inclusive, which is super important. Typically, without the space like this, fans would purchase tickets for whatever event they'd come, and after feeling overwhelmed within the first 10, 15, 20 minutes, their only option would be, all right, we gotta go home, we gotta leave. This allows individuals to step away for 10, 15 minutes. It's better than missing the whole game, it's better than missing the whole concert. As somebody who is profoundly deaf, uh, it's all about awareness. What we're doing is creating uh, a community of people that are making positive change. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, everybody. I'm your host, Charlie Moore. Now, we always ask you on Bruins Academy to send in your hockey videos, no matter what. As long as it's hockey-related, we'll take them. And guess what? We got a bunch. And we've picked out a select few. Well, guess what? They're next. First up, we have five-year-old Nora Ruttenberg from Lakeville, Mass and the Bridgewater Badgers, who's the youngest player on the ice. 
Notice how Nora alertly trails the play. She shoots and scores. What a nice play, Nora. Nice shot. Here's 10-year-old Finn Haggerty from Newton, Mass, in the Crimson Hockey Club. Notice his head up spins and banks it home off the goaltender's skate. That's called a creative goal, Finn. Next is 10-year-old Mark Blanchard Jr. from Salem, New Hampshire. Top gun with pressure on the puck. It gets dumped behind the net. What a pass. And diving towards the goal is Blanchard, who tips it home for the goal. Wow, that was truly incredible. And finally, this is 15-year-old Michael Murphy from the Dorchester Chiefs, who's having a night out at Conti Forum. Here's the call. Murphy from the right side moves in. Go. Mr. Murphy putting on a show here at Conti Forum. He wants to make the highlight reel. And he did. Woo! Those were some really good videos. And hey, if you want to appear on an episode of Bruins Academy, please send in your videos. Anything to do with hockey. Your niece, your nephew, your daughter, your son. Send in anything hockey related. And who knows? You may appear on the very next episode of Bruins Academy. Up next on BA, we're going to have coaches teaching coaches how to coach. Confused? <laughs> Me too. Take a look. We're back here at uh, Warrior Arena with the uh, Bruins Coaching Symposium. We have about 300 coaches from across New England getting to hear some great comments from head coach Jim Montgomery. You can be teaching them two-on-one -on -one concepts. You can be teaching them D-zone concepts, but make it competitive. But when you leave them, always leave them with a positive mindset. The annual Bruins Academy Coaching Symposium presented by Mass General Brigham in partnership with Massachusetts Hockey offers USA Hockey Level 3 and Level 4 coaching certifications. Best of all, it's free. We have three different breakouts happening. We have a level three clinic with about uh, 100 coaches in it, a level four clinic with about 110 coaches. As coaches, it's our job to create problems all over the ice for our players to solve. This year's event didn't just teach the coaches about X's and O's. There were also special sessions that focused on the always important topic of player safety. One part about it, of, of course, is uh, player safety, and, and uh, that really comes down to prevention. If you have that kind of repetition of prevention and safety in you, uh, then you can enjoy the uh, sport, uh, and we uh, decrease the amount of injuries that we see. Okay, that was good. Coach Montgomery teaching the coaches how to coach. What better guy to do it, right? Up next on Bruins Academy, we have number 88, David Pasenak, going over to Gillette Stadium to take in a New England Revolution game. And guess what? He brought a photog with him. Well, why wasn't I invited? What's up, Reds fans? This is Pasta. The Bruins are in the stadium for the playoff game. Go, Reds, go! Go, Reds, go! Are you gonna do that? Or no, bro, gonna I'm gonna do it like this, bro. Yeah, yeah. I just let it go. All right, gentlemen. All right, Ollie, we got the blue side or the red side? Blue? All right, blue it is. Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go, boys. Let's go, yeah. It's red. You look good, you look good. He, he said he wanted blue. It's red. Hey. Thank you for that. Got a talent. It's a good coin toss right there. 
Good picture. Welcome back to Bruins Academy. I'm your host, Charlie Moore. You know, people think I played professional hockey. I didn't. However, I do host a professional hockey TV series, and you're watching it. It's called Bruins Academy. And up next on Bruins Academy, we're going to head to Watertown, Massachusetts. A couple rinks opened up, and we want to check them out. Great, come on. Welcome to the PFC Richard Moxley Outdoor Rink in Watertown, Mass. Richard lost his life in Vietnam back in 1968. Among those honoring him today are the Boston Bruins and hockey legend Jerry York, who was a childhood friend. Richard Moxley, Watertown native, went to Vietnam as a Marine and, and was killed in action there, so it's a nice tribute. Watertown is a big uh, hockey community, obviously the home of Jerry York, uh, a legend at Boston College and a Hockey Hall of Famer. It's nice to come back to an area like this that has strong roots in the hockey world. Coach York helped get the rink built, along with the Boston Bruins Foundation, who also donated a set of street hockey equipment and held a clinic for the kids. Well, I think it was a no-brainer when Jerry York was involved in this and having facilities like this that boys and girls can can play in, you know, it's a big part about growing the game and we're happy to be here and assist today. We're a, we're a hockey community, we follow the Bruins. I think this will help develop skill level. And eventually, who knows, we might have an next Bob Sweeney or Mike Marlow. Let's go Bruins! We're very grateful here to the Jacobs family and for their outreach to the community. You can only get so many hours of ice time a week when you're playing ice hockey, but these, these facilities are available all the time and hopefully kids will take advantage of them. I took a couple pucks to the head, I'm sorry, at the rink. Gonna have to read from the cue card here. Hold a second, okay? Up next on BA, we're gonna throw it around the NHL. All right, we're gonna go uh, San Jose, California. Whew. Yeah, we're gonna find out more about Sharks forward Thomas Hurdle. Yeah, it's a nice rank. Puck right, right here, it's like a, wow. It's like a once in a lifetime shot, boom. Hey, I'm Thomas Hurtle. I play for San Jose Sharks. Thank you for having me or Bruins Academy. Hurdle barrels in now on Fowler. What a move, Tomas Hurdle's in. So I probably started skating when I was oh, three years old. And what I can remember, you know, every hockey was to me everything. My mom was kind of hated always because I was like, when is next skating? When is next skating? I would just like keep pushing every day and asking, even if for the school, like teacher was kind of like, we have to like make sure he learns something because he's just talking about the hockey. Chipped in front hurdle, he's got it! Tomas was the first player from the Czech Republic to make it in the NHL back in 2013. He has played for the Czech national team with both David Pasternak and David Krejci. So it's no surprise that they're all really good friends. Yeah, you know, they both great guys. Actually, I, I know Pasta a little bit longer. You know, we, we actually skate quite often during the summer. I've, I've actually fall, fallen like, you know, great Czech career a lot because I think, you know, one of the top players for our country and win the cup too with the Bruins. And for sure now it's, you know, Pasta time. You know, everybody knows Pasta back home because he's dominating the league, you know, one of the best goal scorers in NHL. Tomáš is a cool player for his size, you know, he's a big, big guy who can skate really well and he had a lot of success uh, in this league, so hopefully uh, he, will, he, will, he will stay healthy and he keep going. Tomáš has some good friends in Boston and enjoys the city, but playing here in Boston against the Boston Bruins? Well, that's a different story. Honestly, I'm not a big fan because we, we never really played that great in Boston Garden, but you know, they have great fans, you know, great atmosphere. But at the same time, I love the city. Over 11 years I'm here, it was always the, one of the best teams in NHL. 
Thanks for having me on Bruins Academy. Well, that's it, folks. That's going to wrap up this episode of Bruins Academy. But before we go, make sure you send in your fan hockey-related videos. Who knows? You may appear on the very next episode of Bruins Academy. Hey, from all of us here at the TD Garden and the Boston Bruins, I'm Charlie Moore. Thanks for watching Bruins Academy. Woo! Whoa. Whoa. Hockey puck. Am I still in San Jose?